In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of gimbal movements that I think is necessary to know when you are using a gimbal and that will instantly make your footage look really, really good. That entire sequence was shot using the Xeon Crane M2 together with my Sony... Sony? <laughs> I was almost saying my life. Sony A7 III. Samsung Galaxy S10. You can put your smartphone on here, you can put a small like uh, Sony A6000 or something like that, which is really really cool. And you can also put your GoPro of course. So this is basically like all in one gimbal. And I want to show my point that you don't need to have like a super expensive setup to be able to shoot some cinematic footage because these kind of gimbal movements apply to any kind of gimbal. So the first movement that I highly recommend you do is gonna be the underslung mode. And that's basically just gonna hold your gimbal like this and then move really close to the ground. Because when you move really close to the ground, it's gonna feel like you have some really, really big motion in your shot. I'm gonna use the wide angle lens and we're gonna shoot this in 4K 25 frames per second. Basically just gonna choose video and then I'm gonna set my focus point and then we're gonna start the recording. So I'm basically just gonna do like a small pan like that so that we can get the roots of the tree to act as the foreground and then reveal the lake that is behind it. So, uh, oh. I think we got the shot. Yes. So the next move is gonna be a sliding shot. And that is basically just gonna be like holding the gimbal like this and moving it as steady as you can to the side. But to make this really interesting, always try to find some kind of foreground to have in your shot to make it really apparent that the camera is actually moving. And then we're gonna do a couple of shots. Ooh. And you can also use it as a slider just going forward like this. I'm just gonna like get some shots off this so that we have that. There we go. There is a couple of things that I think is really important to pay attention to when you are starting out using your gimbal because most people just like smack their camera on there and then they go out and try to shoot like a steady footage as they can. The most important thing when you operate in gimbal, aside from all the different moves that you can do with the gimbal, is definitely gonna be the way you walk. And when I'm using a gimbal, I always try to walk heel to toe, heel to toe with slightly bent knees to get the best result that I can when I'm operating gimbal. So this shot is probably gonna be like one of the absolute best gimbal moves that you can do because you don't have to do much movement to get it to look really, really cinematic. And that is basically gonna be like you holding a gimbal like this and then panning at the same time as you are moving to either right or left because that is gonna give you some really, really good looking shots, especially if you have some kind of foreground. Okay, so we wanna move really close to the foreground that we got. And in this case, I'm gonna move forward and I'm gonna move slightly to the left and then I'm gonna turn the handle to the right. It's gonna be a lot of things to like keep in mind, but when you practice this and then nail it, it's gonna look really, really good. Okay, here we go. Ooh. That looked good. Oh yeah, uh, I'm an old man now, 20 years old. I have no idea how I'm gonna get up from here. The joints feels like they are stuck. So yeah, I'm probably gonna sit here and rot. <sighs> yep, I'm stuck. So this gimbal movement is basically just a fake jib like that, but when you execute it properly, it's gonna look really, really good. And this is gonna be a really good move to get those really epic revealing shots and I'm gonna use this to move like this and then we're gonna go up to reveal the lake through the hole that we got in the trees right here with the I don't know what this is called but in Swedish we call it brygga oh I'm gonna put it right here somewhere in the screen so they know what it is so basically what you want to do is to start from an underslung mode and then move up towards your goal with the revealing shot
I think we got it right here. Hang on. We got it. So no matter what kind of gimbal that you use and what you're shooting, it will require a lot of practice to get those really, really good shots. But when you know what kind of movements to use when and where, that is gonna help you a lot in progressing your skills to get those really like cinematic shots. We're just gonna finish off with a shot right here with the like chain going from the boat because I think it's gonna look really, really cool to have in the sequence. So let's see if we can get it. So let's do a fake jib shot combined with the panning. So we're gonna try to go like this and see if we can get a really good looking shot. Almost. A little bit higher, a little bit faster. Ah! I think we got it. I've been using my Rona now for over a year to shoot event films, to shoot commercials and different things. And these movements are definitely the ones that I use when I want to have some cinematic shots in my videos. So with that said, if you only have a smartphone and you want to have a really good gimbal, CN Crane M2 is definitely something that I highly recommend. It's like, it's a really powerful thing. You got a couple of different modes and that you can use. Personally, I'm not a fan of using like the uh, different POVs and stuff like that. But what is cool though, is that you can just flip it like this and you can shoot like Instagram stories holding the, holding the gimbal like this. So that is something that I think is really cool. And then you can just flip it back when you want, so how awesome is that? And with that said, I want you to go out there, I want you to practice a lot. I really hope that you enjoyed the tips that you got in this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, that'd be highly appreciated. So uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Now, uh, now I'm gonna go home. Okay, what do you got? Hi.